Did you know that when you use Google Chrome, you have absolutely no online privacy and that your data is being used to make billions of dollars? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can claim back your online privacy. But before we start, my name is Jonathan Edwards and I'm an IT support and cyber security specialist. We work with businesses all over the UK. Before I get into the detail of this video, I want to make one thing quite clear. This isn't about me criticising big companies like Google, Microsoft or Facebook. What I do find is that most people just don't understand their online privacy options. So that is what I'm here for. So what is internet privacy? Well, when you browse online using a web browser such as Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge or Apple Safari, these big companies are collecting information about you and lots of it. To take things a little bit further, nearly every website you visit is using sophisticated tracking software so they can learn more about you in order to make money. It is said that companies like Google and Facebook really have a business model of surveillance. If we look at Google for example, they make over $100 billion per year from their advertising platform and that is made up from information that they gather from you and me. So what is being tracked? Well let's focus on Google for a second. What do Google track and why are they tracking it? Google collects all kinds of data from you. Things like your Google searches, your online habits, your purchasing history, your location and much much more. They can use all this data they collect about you to build a profile of you. They'll know your sex, your age group, your job industry, your interests and all this data can be used in many ways. Firstly, it can be used for targeting advertising. They can show you advertisements that are tailored just for you. And of course, Google are then getting paid by the companies who are advertising. Let's look at an example of how this might work. You might be looking to book a weekend trip to London, so you might use Google Chrome to start searching for hotels. Suddenly you're confronted on different websites with different advertising about London. It might be different London hotels, days out and other experiences all about London because Google knows that you're about to go. Another thing you might track is your location history. So wherever you go with your phone, Google goes with you. As an example, you might be looking to watch a movie after work. When you suddenly open your phone, Google will show listings of all the cinemas that are local to you. Now you might find these two examples actually really helpful. It's giving you help to plan your trip and it's giving you help so you can watch your movie after work. So these are really helpful things. Or you might think it's against your basic human right of privacy. Now according to Google, they're collecting this data to provide better services, make improvements and to customise your user experience. So what's the big problem? Well back in March 2021, Google came under fierce attack after they revealed just how much data they're collecting when you use their web browser, Google Chrome. Google Chrome is the world's most popular web browser. It has over 25 billion users and it also collects much more data than any of its competitors. Now Google only released this data after it became mandatory to do so and it took them three months. This has caused a bit of a stink in the online privacy mode and people think that Google is collecting too much data. If you think about it, the more information they do collect, the more profit that they'll make. So with all that in mind, do you have any options to make sure that you're private when you're online? Or is this just a world that we live in where big tech companies dominate everything? Well, as far as I see it, you've got four options. Let's go through each of those now. Now, your first option is to do nothing. Now, you might not be concerned if Google and other big tech companies are collecting data about you. You might find the online services that they offer really helpful. Just before I made this video, I was having a chat with my wife in the kitchen and she said she just wasn't bothered if Google collected data about her or not. Again, as I said at the outset of this video, this isn't about me having a go at big tech companies. It's about giving you the options that you need so you can make the best choice. 
Now your second option is to use something called Chrome extensions to make Google Chrome more private. One of the great things about Chrome is its flexibility and the fact that it's built using open source software. That means software developers can create little applications that are installed into Chrome to add or remove features. So if you want to make your Google Chrome more private, all you have to do is go to the Google Web Store and install these four extensions. The first extension is called HTTPS Everywhere and that makes sure that every web page you visit has a secure connection. The second extension that I recommend is called Privacy Badger and that will block any invisible tracking software on the websites that you visit. The third extension that I recommend is called uBlock Origin and the fourth one is called Cookie Auto Delete which will delete any unwanted data after you've left the website. So if you go ahead and install those Chrome extensions onto your computer, it will make Google Chrome more private. I will list all the extensions below this video in the description. Now you might have found the second recommendation a little bit complicated. So the third recommendation is just to use one Google Chrome extension. The one I recommend is called DuckDuckGo. Try saying that after you've had a few. Now DuckDuckGo keeps all of your online searches private. It also allows you to escape these online tracking tools and it makes sure that all your connections are secure. Now DuckDuckGo is available as a Chrome extension on the PC or if you're using a smartphone, it's available as a full browser. So if you're using the iPhone, it can replace Safari. DuckDuckGo are a company who takes privacy really seriously and it's really easy to install, so maybe give it a go. Now the fourth recommendation is the one that I use myself. After watching this video, you might be thinking, I don't want to be part of this big marketing thing anymore, I value my privacy. Well, instead of using Google Chrome, you can use a different web browser altogether and the one that I recommend is called Brave. Now Brave has been built using the same open source Chromium code as Google Chrome. That means it looks nearly identical, apart from it's got a very impressive lion icon. And you can use all your favourite Google Chrome extensions with Brave. And Brave runs three times as fast as Google Chrome. But the really great thing is that Brave takes your privacy seriously. Now Brave has been built with your online privacy in mind. Right from when you start using it, it's using secure connections. It's also blocking ads and trackers, and it's not keeping track of your search history. Brave will work on any device that you use, whether that's a Windows device, an Apple Mac, or a smartphone, and it's completely free. So why not download Brave and give it a try? What I think is going to happen over the next few years is that people are going to become really aware of their online privacy and they're going to be taking steps to make sure everything they do online is private. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you again soon.